If asked how many legs a person has, patients with Ganser syndrome will reply, one, and answers to plain arithmetic questions will likewise be wrong, but only slightly off the mark. Ganser syndrome, also known as approximate answers syndrome, has been a topic of debate in the medical field. It is not listed in the current Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, 5th edition, text revision, but it was considered a dissociative disorder not otherwise specified in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, 4th edition. The hallmark symptom of Ganser syndrome is the tendency to provide incorrect but approximate answers to questions. These answers show an understanding of the questions, differentiating them from nonsensical responses. The syndrome often appears alongside significant psychosocial or physical stressors and is of short duration. Enoch and Trefawan identified four main symptoms, including approximate answers, clouding of consciousness, somatic conversion symptoms, and hallucinations. A thorough medical examination is essential to rule out other potential causes. Imaging, such as CT scan or MRI scans, may be necessary. An electroencephalogram can help detect seizure disorders or delirium. Treatment primarily involves supportive psychotherapy and safety monitoring. Limited evidence suggests that hypnosis or electroconvulsive therapy may be beneficial in some cases. Recovery is typically rapid, especially if the underlying stressor resolves. Medication specifically for Ganser syndrome symptoms is rarely needed, but underlying psychiatric or medical conditions should be addressed as necessary. Ganser syndrome has been debated over the years, with questions about its nature, causes, and classification. It was first described by Sigbert Ganser in 1898, based on patients who exhibited this set of symptoms, including approximate answers. The exact cause of Ganser syndrome remains unknown. Organic factors such as head injuries and medical illnesses have been proposed as contributing factors. Psychiatric explanations, including dissociative features, have also been suggested. Malingering and factitious disorder have been considered in cases involving second regain. Ganser syndrome is considered very rare, with few documented cases. It may occur in various age groups and across different races, but there is no strong evidence of racial predisposition. It has been observed more frequently in males, but this observation may be influenced by selection bias. Symptoms of Ganser syndrome often resolve spontaneously, with amnesia for events during the episode being a common outcome. The prognosis is influenced by underlying causes and associated conditions. Ganser syndrome remains a complex and debated condition, characterized by approximate answers to questions. While its etiology and classification are not fully understood, it is essential to consider various factors, including medical, psychiatric, and psychosocial elements, when diagnosing and managing this rare syndrome.